find what you want to do and what you're passionate about and just do it. All right, we're recording. I wouldn't re I'd get, come in close to it and you can use so people like it when it pops. New canvas. Yay! The new canvas smell. <laughs> oh yeah. You can smell the art just oozing off of it. It's saying, do something. Do something to me now. That's not kind of bad. <laughs> or kind of good. I don't know. Depends on the point of view. We got canned music going, which is depressing. It's not horrible. No, it's See, not. I painted the worse. I can change the playlist. Would you like something jazzier? No. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I chose piano background. So I'm mildly concerned because I've got this painting that we did at the live demo last Saturday, uh, and, and but it's not, I can't remove it. And I didn't want to spend my whole day rearranging. So we're re we might as well just talk about what's going on, I guess. Uh, <laughs> record everything. So we needed to make this more friendly for um, recording in here. And one of the problems is on a bright day, you can't record me working over here because it'll, it'll blind us. But the natural light's great. So now we've got 360 degree travel around this four by eight center table. So we're gonna add a bigger shelf down below that'll help store some items. And then we're gonna put another four by eight on the top. This is an open, this is an open grid. And um, it, it's great for what I was using it for, but now I need to be able to like today, keep working. And that's the thing is, is I'm productive enough that I need more storage in here <laughs> because I can't keep oozing into the household. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, you know, so, uh, so that's what we're doing with that. And then, um, so tomorrow though, I'm going to work on it. Today is very truncated day, but I wanted, I've been dying to do a painting on here. That's like the paper paintings that I've been doing. Some people asked if it's possible to do it on this. And yes, on the canvas it's possible. The characteristics of the canvas is considerably different than a piece of paper on a nice hard backing board because this thing has some, some movement to it. So uh, the character of the material that you work with is going to change the, the feel, the character of the piece you're doing. So whatever your substrate is that you're working on will inform the, the resulting artwork. Does that make sense to everybody? So suddenly we're doing a, a class. I didn't expect <laughs> didn't expect to do that. So I'm going to try to do a very similar process on here that I do on the paper pieces, and um, and we'll see how this goes. But for example, here's a couple of samples that I'm working off of right now. These are just off the top. And you can see there's some paint, uh, thinner, thicker paints. I'm working with the absorbency of the uh, paper. And uh, so that's what we're going to play with today. Let's see what we can do on this. And it may be that I need to prep these with some absorbent ground, which is like a gesso, but it's very, it's a lot more absorbent for the uh, water media to go in it like the paper would be. Today we're just going to do it because I really was desperate to paint. And Kristen's changing the music already, aren't you? I am. I can't, it's it's like a dirge back I'm here. Back. I can't do I'm this. Back. Yeah, I know. I'm like I'm falling asleep. I gotta find something to see. So I'm gonna be working mixed me. Are you still recording? Oh yeah. Are we live? No. No. Yeah, Wait, this is part of our almost live series. Did you know we have an almost live series? I did. Did they? Did you I know don't that? know, but we do. Check us out on DavidAustinGallery.com. And support us, please, for the love of God, support us <laughs> <laughs> on Patreon. But more importantly, we have a new thing called Coffee. Co buy me a bu coffee no, dot com. Buy me a coffee dot com. Dot com. You can you'll be able to see this on our link tree in mm -hmm. um, Instagram. I think there'll be a link on our website too soon. Yes, there'll be a button, in fact. A button for donations. Uh, if you can't afford to paint, buy a painting, or you just have too much art already, but you like what you see. You like us entertaining you with a little laugh here and there? Please uh, throw us a little bit of um, paper. I think we're, we're doing instead of a cup of coffee, it's buy us a piece of paper. Yes, it's buy us a piece of paper. <laughs> Three dollars a piece. It's about what it costs. So since buying me scotch probably isn't appropriate, but buy a coffee is fine too. But actually, liquor was an option on there, but <laughs> I thought 
since it's going to buy them supplies <laughs> for the demonstrations, it should be by us a piece of paper. All right, so this feels a little cramped here all of a sudden, so I may pull this down a bit. Yeah, this is today. This is the inaugural rearrangement. Yeah, so I'm going to pull Pink. this down. Good thing it's not all loaded with crap yet. Oh, yeah, that's, does that feel better down on your end? Yeah, that's way more. I can actually get over your shoulder now. Can you? Yeah. Do you have to get real close when you do it? I do. It's I part hope. of the pleasure. <laughs> part of the pr pleasure and privilege. Okay, so I've got my poofy jacket here, which could be a problem. I was going to put our logo wear on and stuff, but I'm not going to. I guess I'm not going to worry about that because there's no water media. That's all acrylic. Yeah. So if I overspray, then fine. <sighs> I, I'm stalling. I, I don't see I the painting yet. So we're going to just start doing some mark making and see where it goes, okay? And I'm going to start with a pastel. I'm suddenly feeling like grabbing a pastel. Ooh, that's new for you lately. I haven't done it in a little bit, but... And the thing is, again, the surface is going to inform what happens here. There's a... Um, the underneath this are the supports, and I hit them when I cross over. So this could do some interesting stuff when I spray it with the way it water. And that's the part that Kristen always um, skips over a little bit. Well, nobody, not nobody, very few people want to watch 10 minutes of water spraying. <laughs> Never say nobody. That's right. Somebody might. That's true. So we've got a various chalk in here. Uh, I got a lot of different kinds of chalk, different hardnesses to play with. And the typical ones I use in the front. This is a scrap drawer. I've got some oil pastels. I got some crayons and just miscellaneous pastels. The good stuff is stored in the other bins. So I'm going to start by really soaking this down. Again, this is where I was concerned in the overspray, but I think it'll be okay. Rubber band. That's what I need for this thing. A rubber band? Yes. To me, it's probably gloves. It's cold. Yeah, my hands are numb now. It's not good for your rayons. No, my Renaud's will not be happy with me today. So you can see when we spray it, we're soaking the canvas, but it's also spreading that pigment around, which is kind of fun. And then I'm going to go through and do some more accents with the big, with the charcoal. I'm not using the general right now. This is the generals. No, uh, let's wait, use some wait. of it. We'll use some of it. What the heck? So this is the charcoal, everybody. So this is the generals charcoal. I'm going to go with the floral motif. It's where I kind of always start lately on things because I miss our gardens in the heat. We had to turn off half of our pond system this week, which is sad because it just iced up too much. So that's the general. This is really a cool, you can see these big, big, giant marks we can get in a very quick hurry. And then this is a just a piece of chalk. It's a little bit harder. You can do a little bit finer details on it. And then I'm going to put that away and I'm going to use my fingers, which is why I'm wearing my gloves. You can smear that around, create yourself some, some nice areas. Okay, so that's kind of messy, right? That's fun. <laughs> Blot some of it out, even create a little texture on there. Now, normally the paper has a really high absorbency, and we can continue pretty quickly in, into pulling the paint across it. This really doesn't have that kind of absorbency, so I think what I'm going to do now, Kristen doesn't know what I'm doing, and neither do I. Uh, I'll set this aside just for a few minutes while it kind of sets up and, and dries out a little bit because right now if I pull the paint across this it's really going to spread a lot. So I'm going to get grab another canvas. Master, I don't think you thought this through. When we started filming this stuff I was looking at camera equipment and I'm like who needs an $800 camera crane? You know who does need an $800 camera crane? You, right now. Anybody chasing David with the camera, that's who. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
my uh, creation process is very, um, very active. <laughs> well, everybody will be on Twitch starting this weekend too. That's right. Yeah, or if you can't get enough of us on Saturdays, we'll also be on Twitch <laughs> Sundays for two hours. So now I'm going in dry on this one. Same thing, a little bit of a motif on the um, flowers. And a lot of this will actually get kind of kind of pushed in. Okay, so that gives us something to work with. Um, I think I'm going to start with my base, which is often the uh, yellow. Lately, not always. Not always, but right now, it's a lot of the a lot of this. Uh, it's actually cadmium yellow deep hue, and I, but it's a hue, so it doesn't have actual cadmium in it, which is why I'm okay using it sometimes. See, normally I would have paper down here to to use. So I, I don't. But we're out of paper. Out so buy us a piece of paper at. <laughs> <laughs> nice segue. Buy us a cup of coffee. Dot com. David dot Austin is the account. Six inch. Palette um, knife. Palette knife. It's getting a little rounded, so the character of the pole is getting different. I've got another one over there that's real sharp, but the sharper one on the canvas can be a little bit on the danger side. So he's just gathering some paint some here. Paint up. And we're just going to start doing some lines across the top here. I don't know why the camera's trying to autofocus on the red painting in the background. So let's get a little more. Pull that down this way. So already you can kind of see the difference uh, between the canvas and the so you got more texture in this canvas. You could put gesso on this and then sand it really smooth. Uh, but I, I really don't have the patience for it, which is one of the reasons I really, really like the paper. So I've just put the angle down further to pull some more of that in there. But you can also now change the characteristic of that piece by changing the angle of the blade, right? Let me draw some more. And you can see it does some really interesting uh, picking up more of the, the ground color and that gives us a little bit more of an interesting effect. And then I always have to have a corner to get rid of the paint if I don't have paper. It's half the reason I have paper all over the place in here when I'm painting is because then I can actually take the excess paint and put it on, on, the, on the surfaces. And I actually generate new paintings which is really cool. Alright, what color, Kristen? Uh, green. You need something really thin, maybe. Purple. Purple. God. <laughs> you, you didn't leave me any scotch. I know. I'm the one creating. <laughs> That's not true. We both are. That's true. Uh, okay. So lavender purple or dark purple? I was thinking lavender, like a thin lavender. Which? This is, well, this is going to be thin because these are the watered down ones. Just something. I don't know. Let's do something first. Um, Take a Sergeant Art paint stick. This is the gold, and this is the end of the gold. Please sponsor us, because we've sold like 50 of these. <laughs> yeah, it's this. amazing how much, how many. This, the Pasca art markers have been selling quite a bit to. Uh, From our videos. Through the videos that we're doing, yeah. She's trying to pour a scotch in. I am. Camera. That's funny. So these are neat because they do set up pretty quickly. And this is a metallic gold, which is really neat. So I'm going to just kind of rub that in. And it's picking up some of the color. And you can even go through the other yellow, the acrylics, and you can get some neat effects happening. And these are only 12 bucks a pack, and you get, I don't know how many are in a pack, do you? Uh, 20 or something? No, it's not 20. I think it might be 15. 12. 12. 12. It might actually be 12. And they've got these metallics that are kind of fun. We like them. The other thing that you can do now is you can scraffito in, create a little texture in that background. This has a little ridge on the back, so you can see it actually can create a ridge 
effect. Use, use what the you, whole tool. Use the whole tool, that's right. Use what you have, everybody. Come on now. <laughs> Anything can become art. A person can become art. I just saw a TED Nick Talk Cage. on that. Nick Cage. Remember that one? Mm hmm. That was a really, I think that's the, isn't that the, the, uh, the guy with the, um, sound suits? Yeah, sound suits. Sound suits. My mom, when she was still alive and teaching in Battle Creek years ago, brought him to the Battle Creek school, school, and, and actually the whole community in Battle Creek where I was raised. And, um, he did some workshops there. It was pretty amazing. That was a long time ago. I think that it might have been the early 90s. Late 80s. Late 80s and early 90s. Because I think he was done with his sound suits by like 93, but I could be wrong about that. I like the gestural quality. I wonder what he's doing these days. Uh, I don't know. I didn't look it up. Um, pink. Sorry, everybody. There's going to be pink. <laughs> so this is a tempera paint, which is nice. It's non-toxic. That's why I like them, because my son and I can do stuff with this. But it's the, the, the other thing though, because it is a um, tempera, it's always water soluble. So you can go back in and you can soak section and work it out again as to what it does. So that's kind of nice. Now I'm going to go back in and add some little bit heavier structure. So do we do, well you wanted the lavender in there. So we got to figure out a lavender pole. Where are we going to put this lavender? How about right down the side, left side? See what I mean about that, though? <laughs> yeah, it's going to ooze onto this other painting, love. I don't know. It's going to happen. Oh, that's the wrong one. Shall we do... Let's do this one. Let's see if we can get a wide pull. This is thinned out, acrylic. So we'll see how far down it goes. Pretty far. Pretty far down. That's cool. And then we can pull back this way, the excess. Okay, that's kind of fun. And the thing when you're doing these poles is you've got to be, um, you, you've got to um, be consistent. The whole body gets involved is what I'm saying. You can edit out my stutters, right? I don't on these almost lives. No? No. <laughs> these are pretty much close to raw, these. I put them up once or twice a week for anybody who's new here. And we have the more polished looks at technique about twice a week. And then we've got our live, actually live, on Saturdays. That's fun. Should we add more of the lavender or, or should we do it darker? I don't know. Let's go from here, everybody. I'm going to let you see what he's seeing. Mm. I'm just, I'm getting used to being able to go around the whole table. This is Let's new. Let's draw for me. this dark plum. This is a nice color, but it's uh, right, thinned out because this is the end of the. So what I do is at the end of their lifespan, these little bottles, and these are really cheapos that I've had for decades. <laughs> we won't go into why I have them. <laughs> but they exist for a reason, and uh, I don't like to waste paint, so I've never gotten rid of them. And I think it's kind of ironic that I'm using them now to consider where they came from. <laughs> um, anyway, so when it gets down to the end of the 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 bottle, whether it's that or the, the Galleria from Windsor Newton, which I like a lot right now, it's very smooth, I add water or a medium, but usually water. And it actually becomes more like a water media because the polymers that are in the acrylics are, when you add the water, break down and become almost not as adhesive, if you will. So the resulting pigment you get from a watered down acrylic becomes more like a watercolor. That's fine, because you can always seal the whole thing up afterwards, right? How's my hair? Oh, now you got paint in it. Excellent. Because I gotta go to Taekwondo, so I might as well have some paint in my hair. All right, so I'm gonna draw this down. I kind of like that edge right there, so I'm gonna leave that. Uh-oh, somebody's texting. Oh, it is Monday. So there's that. Now you can see the thinner stuff leaves, not, it doesn't lay down quite as thick, right? It's just the character of it. Let's see if we can draw any of this across. Not much, huh? No, not really. I'll just work that green gob in there. Of 
pro tip, wipe these off after you use them. It doesn't take long for the acrylic to dry and destroy your piece. You got any questions for me, Kristen? Not that I can, you know, voice on this. Video. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stolen scotch No. That's so now, what can I do? Um, I don't know. I, I mean, you said you couldn't see the picture or the, the painting in your head before you started. No. And that's, is that unusual for you or is that normal? Sometimes I have a pretty significant idea of what I want to create. See, this is all thinned out. I'm, I'm running out of the thick paint, which is an issue right now. Yeah, I, you know, to describe it but there's there's some sense of something in there right but it's not always clear so you have to go through the process of so would you say you're more of a process artist or are you more of a finished result artist oh come on you know the answer to that I'm not asking for me <laughs> I, I consider myself process oriented, but I gotta tell you, to make a living. Now see, the problem with these tubes is that now I've got a bunch of paint in there that's, I, it's hard to get out of these things. So I'm, that's why I switched quite a bit to bulk in the, the big containers, because I can do something with it. Process oriented. I used oriented. to cut them open and Yeah, a lot of people in. do that, and I'm like, I'll just skip a step. This is that green everybody loves. All right, here's your real baby. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I'm feeling like something else needs to happen with the reels lately. I'm not sure what it is. That's fun. I mean, they're doing really well, but... I'm gonna pull this one down here. Well, I didn't pull it all. Let's pull it. Let's push it in. Ooh, maybe I'll just leave that. It's kind of a nice block. Yeah, you've called this blocking before, too, and I think that's accurate. Yeah. What it looks like to me. Let's draw a little bit up in here. See if we can get a color up in here. Color up in here. Get a color up in here. There we go. That works. This should be less shaky this week, folks, because I discovered that there are two stabilizers in this camera. Sweet. And they're both turned on today. So yay. <laughs> something through here. Somebody had a good point the other day that they had, they didn't like the center hole in the paintings, but it's really common to do. It's like you're looking through a viewfinder or some sort of a... Camera obscura? Obscura, yeah. And you know I've titled a lot of the pieces obscura. Some, some pretty dramatic shifts there in there. I feel like I need a muted color. Like a green that's... Well, the music just shows them we're muted too. <laughs> of course it does. I don't need more dark green. Oh yeah, Esme took the dark green. Our eldest. Yep. This is going to be kind of a thin pole, but I don't know what else to do. My art shoes got soaked by the other shoes coming in, so I'm wearing my nicer white boots. So is there a uh, painter you've discovered this week, or an artist you've discovered this week you like? That's a good question. Who did I discover this week? Um, 
So that's a perfect example of the canvas problem is the ridge on the, the bead on the edge caught the blade as I stopped and kind of created an issue for me. I don't know if there was, was there somebody that I found? I don't know. Did I rediscover anybody? I'm asking you. I actually don't know the answer, answer to that question. There's just enough pigment on there that it gets caught up. Um, I've been fascinated going back into my ceramic days. So I've been looking at Akira. What's his name? Akira? Satka or Satki or something like that. I'll put the link in the description. I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And so he's been on my mind. Like the deconstructed Roku? No, not really deconstructed Roku. No. Really? The last three pieces he posted were just like. No, he was, um, he's working salt or um, wood fired kilns and a lot of st very traditional. It's, uh, he was doing the vases that were chopped. So, I don't think he's doing any Roku. Paul Soldner was one of my influences early on. Paul Soldner. He's worth looking at. I was trying to find out if he was alive still or not, but I couldn't figure it out the other day. So I don't know if he's still around. Paul, if you're around, give me a shout out, man. You have no <laughs> idea who I am. <laughs> so, yeah. This is so nice, I'm afraid to move it. No, it is very pretty. But you can see the thinner color does some nice stuff. You get some watercolor effects and some layering, which is what I'm trying to go for. But you need to let, sometimes you need to let the layers build. Does that make sense to everybody? We'll find out in the comments. And I, I don't want to add more of the green into this right now, so I'm going to put it over here, I guess, on this board that may become a painting someday. Well, I discovered painting with Doug. Painting with Doug? Yes, this fabulous abstract artist. She is also an engineer, a computer engineer, and so she created a robotic arm and a program, and it draws while she draws. Wow. Really? Yes! It is so fun! interesting. She's been working with it for like four years. It's a learning machine too so as it learns and evolves so does she and she has to they paint simultaneously next to each other mm -hmm. on the same piece of ground. That's that is fascinating. Found her on TikTok but she already had a huge following on Instagram. But much like we are having she's not really gaining any ground on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Which you'd think a robotic painting arm would catch on TikTok, but no! So that was a little panel. I get a little flower in there. Again, this is kind of a garden motif thing going on. I'm sorry if anybody was hoping for a complete abstract. Non-representational abstract. You paint what you know sometimes, you know? Sometimes you paint what comforts you too. And since we are potty training the three-year-old, comfort's kind of nice. Okay. How's, <laughs> how's that going with the husband being up there is the question. Oh, uh, good. Yeah. As far as the potty training goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that's going to happen with the eldest. I'm surprised he hasn't come down and said, hey, he's peeing. <laughs> he actually asked about it when he came up the stairs, so he went through protocol. He's good. So mark making, going in, kind of analyzing the piece. I really like where it is. I hate to screw it up. Well, we only have one minute of film left anyway, so. So we might end up coming back to this one again later. Any closing statements? Yeah, follow us on everything. <laughs> um, Help us keep making for you. Yeah, I want to keep making and showing what we're doing. And, and um, again, if you see any of the techniques and you use them on a piece, Tag us on it. Ta tag me on it at David at if it's on Instagram at David underscore K underscore Austin, and uh, let me know that I want to see what you're creating. It, you know, we're all individuals, so I don't mind sharing my techniques. I've gotten some criticism uh, <laughs> for it, but anyway, okay. So I'm getting the hurry up and go. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Be kind to each other.